Всем привет! Меня зовут Ксения Альбранд, и сегодня я познакомлю вас с одним невероятным человеком. Его зовут Анос, и он пилот. Но он не обычный пилот, он пилот иностранной авиакомпании. И на самом деле с моим английским будет тяжело взять интервью, но я все равно попытаюсь, потому что я очень хочу. Что самое интересное, наш пилот Анос, он звезда в Инстаграме, и не только в Инстаграме, но еще в Ютубе. На него подписаны более 100 тысяч человек. Его на самом деле не так просто позвать на интервью, но мне очень повезло, и сегодня Сегодня он в Москве, сегодня солнечная погода, сегодня определенно крутой день, и сегодня мы берем интервью у Анаса. Пойдемте я вас познакомлю с ним. Анас, tell me please uh, more about yourself, uh, where you live, uh, where you from. Okay, uh, first my name is Anas. I'm from Jordan, uh, born and raised uh, in Jordan, mm -hmm. and uh, I live now in uh, Qatar, mm -hmm. as it's my base uh, for uh, my company. Uh, I'm 33 years old, okay, still single, all the ladies, you know, and uh, yeah, I like traveling, my passion is flying, and uh, I'm really happy to be here. Uh, how did you become uh, a pilot? Okay, that's a really interesting story. First of all, my father is a pilot, and oh. he's my mentor. Mm -hmm. So when I was a child, I always look at my dad while he's going to the flights, and always seeing him wearing the uniform and it's why like, it's really really catching my eyes and uh, from that moment I decided to become a pilot and I was like I remember that I was like five years old when I said what do you want to become I want to become a pilot so the journey started that my dad he influenced with his his life as a pilot my, my decision so uh, I used to uh, go with my dad for some trainings when he do conduct some trainings for other pilots and I used to uh, fly with dad and every summer go with him in the cockpit so in that way I saw the cockpit, the airplane, sometimes I look at my dad's books I didn't understand what is written there, I was looking at the picture and I was fascinated about flying yeah. oh. <laughs> What did you do uh, before you became a pilot? Okay, before I became a pilot, actually, uh, I didn't... Um, that's a funny story. But I started to, to study the mm -hmm. aviation when I finished the high school. Mm -hmm. So, um, I started on 18 years old. Mm -hmm. So, I was in the high school um, as a normal uh, student. I was, like, interested in so many subjects, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, my aim focus was in the subjects that I need mm -hmm. to, uh, to become a pilot. But I didn't work anything before studying as a pilot. But when, since I finished my, my study, I stayed at home at, at the house waiting mm -hmm. for the job mm -hmm. or for the recruiting for the company. Mm -hmm. In that time, I did so many different jobs, not to waste my time as a cashier. I, I, I was like uh, working at, at the home, picking my, my brothers to mm -hmm. the school and I was getting a, getting a salary, doing some uh, couple of uh, works with, uh, with my friends to get uh, money. And that's it. But I, I could say I'm a lucky person because I just got the job so, so, uh, so soon, like uh, I didn't wait so much. How people uh, react when uh, they know uh, that you're a sky driver? Yeah. Now, say, oh, that's, oh my God, this yeah. Is... Now, what is the funny thing about it? That I look young mm -hmm. and I'm not a huge person, as you can see. So, <laughs> usually, no, this is uh, something uh, like I have to, to, to admit. So, I was like, when I started flying before mm -hmm. I being a captain, mm -hmm. as a funny story, when I used to, you know, I, I, I look young when I was 22, 23 years old, and mm -hmm. I was out of the terminal, and a kid, he just grabbed his mother, Mom, 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 look, look, the pilot, he looks so young, he looks so young. <laughs> so, that's what's funny. Nowadays, when, when I, become a, I became a captain, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, some, some people, they look at me with... Uh, when they look at me like they are sometimes surprised or uh, especially when I, I became a captain at 28 years old. So they were like, you are the captain? Yeah, I'm the captain. So they get, they get surprised. But uh, meanwhile, on the other side, some people, they, they really, they really uh, like it or they get impressed about uh, my accomplishment as a pilot in this young age. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Хорошо. Хорошо. <laughs> what about your contest uh, um, with your followers? Uh, ah, like uh, what I did uh, with the uh, gifts and things? Yeah, yeah. Aviator oh, okay. watch. Aviator watch and I uh, sent Both an airplane. You. 
I sent an air coffee with me and I sent an airplane to South Africa. Yeah. Actually, I was surprised. You know, um, the first contest I did, like, uh, I have a collection of the airplanes. Mm -hmm. And I offered one of my airplanes to one of uh, the followers who are going to tag friends just to interact with, with, with each other. And I was really surprised that in 24 hours I got like more than 5,400 comments till a point that my Instagram didn't work in that page. So uh, the good thing about it that you feel the love and the interaction from the different countries, people are different, different in culture, different in region. So it was very exciting and the winner was 13 years old mm -hmm. and his name is Bradley. He's from South Africa and I was so happy and so excited mm -hmm. when I saw his face when he sent me his picture mm -hmm. wrapping the airplane with his hand and taking a picture and he told me like he was so happy and so smiley for, for, for the whole day and that makes me like yes, we interact with different people even if we don't see them mm -hmm. but it's like it's nice to, to, to give them something that, that you have and to make them happy. It's cool, but how often it's happened? Okay, um, we decided like to do it every month. Mm. Yeah, to keep uh, the connection and to influence the people and mm -hmm. to uh, motivate them. So uh, now I am, I'm getting uh, a sponsor mm -hmm. from uh, different uh, companies, mm -hmm. okay, who would like to advertise their stuff mm -hmm. in aviation or other things. In that way, we can uh, advise their stuff Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we can influence and motivate the other people who love aviation. It's uh, really cool. When do you prefer fly? Uh, it's day or night? Okay. Um, sunset or sun... Sunset or the sunrise. Yeah. Both of them, they have a different magic. Mm -hmm. Okay, different colors, especially at 39,000 feet. Mm -hmm. You see different things that we can see on the ground. Mm -hmm. But... Um, I have to be honest, like my performance as a pilot mm -hmm. is more better and more relaxed when I fly, fly in a day, day, day flight, mm -hmm. okay? But I have to admit that the night have its own magic. So, if you can, as, as a pilot, as a professional pilot, I would say, yeah, I would love the day because it's the normal time that mm -hmm. a human being works. But as uh, magic of the view and different style, I would say the night. Oh, you're a romantic man. Yeah, I'm a romantic man. Yeah, I'm actually I'm an emotional man and I really appreciate the nature and the things around me. And I feel that I am so lucky person to have the job and to fly every day and to see things that a lot of people, they don't have the chance to see. It's really cool that you understand it and do you appreciate it? Yeah, I do really appreciate it and I appreciate every day that I'm healthy and I have this job. Maybe you have uh, some, uh, any, any romantic uh, story with flight attendant and, uh, or a passenger? Actually, um, mm, with, I, I would say with a passenger. When I was a uh, first officer with Royal Jordanian Airlines, I was... Uh, you know, sometimes in the boarding, uh, mm -hmm. I went out and uh, I saw a beautiful lady. Oh! And uh, that beautiful lady, um, she was coming from Amsterdam. And I was like maybe mm -hmm. 22, 23 years old. And usually, we don't, I don't interact with the passengers, mm -hmm. but I could say a compliment or a thing. And I said, okay, I want to talk with her. Mm -hmm. So, uh, once we landed in Jordan, a month, mm -hmm. I went out to the airplane waiting, waiting her and I saw her in the airport. I went to her to talk with her and I saw her grabbing uh, uh, stuff, you know, and I just offered to carry them just to find a reason to talk with her, to have her contact mm -hmm. and everything. And yeah, I, I got her contact and, <laughs> and we, are, we are friends actually. But as a romantic, romantic story, no, I didn't have uh, something specific. Uh, can you invite uh, uh, your friend inside cockpit? Okay, um, unfortunately, the rules uh, nowadays with the security mm -hmm. um, forbidden me to, or uh, like, would not allow me to invite mm -hmm. the passengers or friends in the cockpit mm -hmm. due to security mm -hmm. reasons, as uh, we have to keep the cockpit door mm -hmm. closed during mm -hmm. the flight. And uh, maybe this is, as friendship's view, 
maybe this is not nice, but when you look at the safety and the passenger and the professionalism of the mm -hmm. flight, mm -hmm. I would say it's better to keep the cockpit door closed. Captain, I have to speak to you. Yeah. To concentrate <laughs> about our job and to uh, bring the airplane safe from A to B. Um, and to what age uh, you can fly? Okay, um, that's different rules from different countries. Mm -hmm. uh, some countries now they extend the age for 65 years old, mm -hmm. and some countries they sell on the 60 years old. What about you? Uh, for the country I uh, work for, 65. And mm -hmm. my country now is 65. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's see if I'm gonna fly till 65 years old <laughs> or I'm gonna quit before. Are you afraid uh, when you fly uh, like passenger? Because you not control the situation. Actually, I trust my colleagues, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm well uh, uh, sure mm -hmm. that we got a good training. Mm -hmm. And I would say no, I'm I'm relaxed. I'm not in control. It's a, it's, it's a weird weird uh, feeling. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes when I fly in the same mm -hmm. airplane, like as a passenger in the same airplane that I fly, I I know what's going on. I can feel as as a pilot. So sometimes I would love to be in control, mm -hmm. but as a passenger, I would love to, to lay down, mm -hmm. watch my movie, listen to the songs, enjoy my meal, and have fun. You like? Uh, do you like uh, flight like passenger? passenger? Yeah, absolutely, I love to fly, Relax. especially in the business class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. Um, how do you spend your vacation? You like? Uh, fly away or stay at home with your family and friends? Actually, on my vacations, I just travel the world. I just pack my bag, put it on my shoulder, and just go without wasting a second. Actually, um, sometimes, you know, we fly, but mm -hmm. we go for a specific destinations. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of destinations around the world. As a pilot of Airbus 320, I can't fly to it. Like Brazil, like Australia, which is on my list mm -hmm. this uh, year, Japan. So I would love to go and discover these countries. So I travel and definitely I give some days for my family. Mm -hmm. I go see them mm -hmm. and see my mother, my father, my grandma. Um, they miss yeah, you or yeah, they, they miss me, I miss them. We keep in communication now with the telephones and everything. We can see each other every day, we can keep communication, but they really understand because my dad is a pilot. So our family is a very understandable. Do you watch a movie Hudson? Yeah, Sally. Sally, yeah. Yeah, I watch and, movie yeah, Sally. And what do you think about it? Okay, I think the captain he's a hero. Hero. And what he did is out of out of uh, the imagination and the glue that mm -hmm. because he did an actions with his experience that made his decision the best decision in that moment. And if you watch the movie, you will find out that this guy. He just follow the books, he will not be alive. But this guy, he did it with his, his experience, his feeling. And I really, uh, I would like to, I, I would really to, to, to meet this, this captain mm -hmm. and really to admire him by, 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 by words. And I will just uh, move my cap, respect for him, yeah. Uh, maybe others uh, film you like about aviation? About aviation, definitely the famous uh, movie. Plane, airplane, you know, uh, this is a comedian uh, movie, yeah, this is the best. Uh, I don't get bored from watching this movie. I just laugh and laugh and mm -hmm. laugh and laugh. Especially when this guy, he presses the autopilot and you see mm -hmm. this dummy is inflated inside <laughs> the cockpit and they started to fly. I agree. You agree, yeah? <laughs> I agree too. <laughs> How often uh, do you spend uh, time in Moscow? Actually, Moscow, it's a beautiful city and I like to visit uh, this amazing city and to feel the culture and uh, to interact with uh, Russian people and to eat the Russian food, oh. which is really, really um, nice. And you have a nice um, uh, soup, which is uh, Borsh. Borsh? Borsh, yeah, Borsh. 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 
Yeah, so, which is really delicious. Uh, what's your favorite place in Moscow? My Maybe favorite. Red Square or...? The Red Square at night, not uh, during the day. Red mm -hmm. Square at night. Mm -hmm. I love the lights at night for Red Square. And even if the temperature is minus 10, minus 15, I go there. Last time I went there, I stayed till 12 o'clock in the night and the police came and kicked me out because it's closed. Uh, yeah. Maybe you know some words, uh, any words? In, 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 uh, um, definitely. Красивая. Yeah. Um, uh, Oh, yeah, okay. and хорошо, <laughs> спасибо, okay, and um, we have uh, привет, привет, mm -hmm. yeah, and добрый день, добрый утро, you know, uh, you're a Christian man, uh, yeah, <laughs> but like it's it's nice to talk mm -hmm. and interact with people, at least to say hello and thank mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. they, people they appreciate that, yeah. I love to learn the language even, mm -hmm. so, yeah. You're a good-looking man. How you can stay? Thank you so much. <laughs> how you can stay uh, in good shape? In a good shape. Yeah. Um, actually, um, healthy lifestyle. I would say flying is a little bit tough, mm -hmm. but if you just follow a good diet and a good healthy lifestyle, you go to the gym to work out just mm -hmm. to keep your fitness. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking to make muscles and things. But I, as much as I can go to the gym, even when I travel, mm -hmm. even for 30 minutes a day, 45 minutes, that's more than enough. And definitely to uh, have a healthy food. Uh, where you never been, but uh, always uh, wanted to go? Never been and I wanted to go. I would love to go to a dream. I think Japan. Japan? Yeah. And uh, Japan and Brazil. I would love. I would love to see the both, both countries. And I hope I'm gonna make this dream come true. And uh, yeah, they are I'm my sure. lesson this year. Yeah, yeah, they are. I'm so close to to uh, make this dream come true. What do you think? Um, it's a job uh, um, more uh, for men or uh, for women? Okay. Um, pilot. I've like to be a pilot. Yeah. yeah. Actually, nowadays, the women uh, in many in many airlines they are, they are like mm -hmm. they are female female pilots. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say it's a man or woman, but I would say that a lot of women they really prove that mm -hmm. they can make this job like the men, and mm -hmm. I do really respect that. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, it's a job. If you do it right, mm -hmm. then it's fair and square. You can be a man or a woman. And uh, uh, the nice thing that really I know a lot of uh, female captains and mm -hmm. they are really up to it and I really feel safe and happy when I fly with them as a passenger. Mm -hmm. So uh, nowadays, I would say the woman, she proved that she can be a good pilot. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's for men and women. About your blog. Uh, when uh, my, you want uh, my Instagram, yeah, yeah, about your Instagram, yeah, and YouTube. I know that uh, you, I started, yeah, YouTube uh, recently, yeah. and uh, I really like it. But my start was on uh, Instagram, mm -hmm. and I was really surprised about uh, my my blog, how much it boomed because want people. To know. people they don't have the chance to see what's inside the cockpit yeah. and the flights and the scenes we see yeah. at uh, altitude 55, 39 mm -hmm. and 37. So uh, they really can see these things through our eyes, through our page, through mm -hmm. our picture. So uh, yeah, it's doing fine. And uh, the best thing about it that we communicate with mm -hmm. each other, with the people. And definitely, recently we do live videos mm -hmm. to answer uh, those young generation questions about the flying, mm -hmm. to lead them and help them to make their dream come true. Mm -hmm. You got more than 100k followers. Yeah. Uh, you feel actually now 132. Oh, oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> There's a 30,000. Where are they? You have sorry. to count them. They will get mad. You feel that you're a celebrity? Um, honestly. No. Sometimes I really get surprised that I met people. They found me in different cities mm -hmm. like Budapest, mm -hmm. Belgrade, Barcelona, Valencia, um, Dubai, and they come to say hello to me mm -hmm. and Doha and Jordan mm -hmm. and, and, and those those countries, and they give me this uh, attention, you know. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I feel like okay, it could. 
could not happen to a normal person walking, but I would I would remind myself that no, I'm, I'm a normal person. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing uh, this uh, to be more social, to have fun, and to share this mm -hmm. with with the people. But sometimes, yeah, I don't feel like celebrity, like an actress or singer. But I feel like, yeah, it's something unique, it's something nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you like your uniform. I love my uniform. Not I just it's like my passion. It's like you know how Superman yeah, had yeah. a suit. Yeah, this is my go-to. And the, you feel it? Close it and open my uniform, <laughs> and I, I I really like it. Mm -hmm. Take care of it. I really uh, care about my uh, look, mm -hmm. the way I dress this uniform because it um, represents first the airline, the aviation, the pilot, and at the end of the day, it represents me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I love it. Feel you sometimes afraid when you fly? Flying. Okay, I get this question so many times. Are you afraid? No, not not afraid. Not afraid. Fly, but maybe situations. Uh, situation. There's a situations in aviation that makes your stress level mm -hmm, gets higher, yes, which yes. is normal, and you have to act in this mm -hmm. way. I could say not afraid that I will collapse, mm -hmm. but you sometimes get stressed and you feel that. The situation mm -hmm. needs more attention and more skills. Mm -hmm. That's why your adrenaline will go up mm -hmm. and you will act right. But a normal person, he should feel afraid. Mm -hmm. Not too much that mm -hmm. he lose mm -hmm. the control, but to a point where he can increase his awareness, his skills, and react in the right way. If you are not afraid of the knife, you will cut your finger. Uh, you travel all over the world okay. and um, you try a lot of uh, food. What's yes. your favorite cuisine? My favorite cuisine? You'll be surprised. My favorite cuisine is my uh, country uh, cuisine, but yeah, which is called Mansaf. It's a very famous Jordanian uh, uh, cuisine and it's really heavy. Mm -hmm. But um, definitely, when I travel, mm -hmm. I like the Italian food. Oh, yeah. Pasta. Yeah, pasta and uh, the pizza. Gelato. For sure. Yeah, gelato. That's that's after. And when I go to Spain, I like to uh, eat a uh, paella. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, I love and sushi definitely. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I love sushi. Okay. You try uh, Georgian cuisine. Yeah, um, I tried the Georgian cuisine and uh, let me remember the name. Uh, <laughs> Hinkali? Hinkali. Oh, yeah. Hinkali. Yeah. I tried the Georgian cuisine. It's, it's really amazing. And I've been in Tbilisi in Georgia and it's really, really, really amazing place with these mountains. Mm -hmm. People are so friendly. And I have a Georgian friend, mm -hmm. and one of the good things that I have also an interview with Radio mm -hmm. One in Georgia, mm -hmm. and it was really fantastic. Okay, and thank you for uh, interesting interview. Thank I'm you so, so much. exciting and yeah. to meet you and uh, take an uh, interview. Thank you so much. I'm really happy to be here Me too. with you, and uh, I'm more happy to have this uh, exciting interview, and I'm really looking forward. That's um, for this interview that because I have a lot of uh, Russian followers, a lot of uh, people they support me here in, uh, in, uh, in Russia, and uh, I would really, really be happy to share this experience with them. Thank you so much for your thank time you so and much. thank you for the coffee.